it's not just a Ghana problem. It's a Ghana, Nigeria, and a few other places problem. And I'll tell you this. <laughs> somebody who is a CEO somewhere mm-hmm. is not satisfied with just being a CEO. Wants, As if the CEO is not enough of an he accomplishment. Wants, he wants the honorary doctor to add. To add. So he calls himself doctor. Yes. <laughs> but people should learn. That's the most important thing for me. Add, can do that. This table you are shaking with Dr. Kinsley Nyaku. To affect people you admire a lot. Because there are people you and I know. It doesn't change this, my this community <coughs> who are who are called Bernard. doctor, but when we shake the thing, their doctor is just yes, but Bernard, my admiration for you is not based on the honorary degree you received. It is based on what you have achieved and who you are. I that's why I'm saying that I think it's a weakness of the mind, honestly, for me. <laughs> oh, yes, it's a weakness of the mind. Because you work what, with what kind of ego boosting do you need? It's not because you work with academics, so you are more inclined to because this argument is usually made by academics who feel like I've spent five years studying for a PhD only for somebody who has been probably paid or just done some work somewhere to be given yes. a doctor and we are all equated the same. It's not fair. You, so now they are they are they are even a lot of them now want to be professors because like the doctor cry is nothing. Yes, but even the th- here's the thing, you will find a lot of academics who are PhDs who actually if you don't call them doctor, they don't care. <laughs> let me uh-huh. go let me go back to that. In Ghana so when I when I do like a because they know it already when like, I do when I do like a moderation for an event which has international people typically if the person is a PhD when they write their name they will write Richard the last guy PhD, PhD at the end they will not say Doctor Richard the last guy no, no, no. Yeah. but in Ghana hey. if you don't call them Doctor they will not respond this MC what is his problem they may be change you. <laughs> in the in the heat of the program, yeah, and so I don't know what you are saying. It's a Ghana problem. It's, it's not just a Ghana problem. It's a Ghana, Nigeria, and a few other places problem. And I'll tell you this: <laughs> <laughs> you see, it's people use it like I'm saying. We created an economy for it. Let's not lie. There were a lot of there are a lot of these institutions who take payment. Um, there was a uh, there was one from Ukraine. I remember who came to do something in Kumasi. My good friend Songo got some. Asamajan got some. Hey. They gave everybody. You pay your three thousand or your four thousand or your five thousand. You call it simple, doctor. <laughs> so you know. But they don't use it. These guys don't use. No, it. no, no. But that is what it is. There's an economy around it, and I'm saying why. And that economy is driven by people's sense of wanting. To yes, I don't want to be validation. Be, there's validation, and people think that perhaps. It increases your value in our society. I mean, I, it, it, it should not. It should not. Also, and Bernard, allow me on this. I blame the religious community a bit because this is very, very endemic How? in that society. Reverend Dr. Pastor. Prophet Reverend, Doctor. Reverend doctor. Prophet Doctor something. Reverend Doctor. Rev, there are many because of the them. Reverend Doctors I knew when I was growing up, they were... Uh, like you know, you've lectures. come from Trinity or something. They were, they were, they were lecturers who were like uh, theologians. Bernard, I bet you that you know about fifty reverend doctors. If you were to shake the table properly, only five will survive. Can we change that subject? <laughs> <laughs> only five. 